we have Huawei P20 Lite for quite some time now. The phone comes with Huawei's Kirin 659 processor. So we decided to do the gaming battery and charging test of this phone. We have also done the full review video of P20 Lite. I will leave the link in the description for you. Now let's see what were the results of this test and is this device really worth its price. What is up guys, I am Abhishek from Movizium and this is the testing of Huawei P20 Lite. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to Movizium and hit the bell icon. So let's first see the specification of this device. As we said in the previous video, this phone comes with Kirin 659 processor, which is the same processor used in on a 9i, on a 9 Lite and on a 7x, which are Honor's mid-range smartphone. P20 Lite comes with octa-core processor with 4 cores clocked at 2.37 GHz and 4 cores clocked at 1.69 GHz. We have 4 GB RAM and 64 GB variant of this model. Starting with the benchmark test, P20 Lite scored 86,636 and ranked 51 on Antutu benchmark, which is quite disappointing for this phone at the price of 20,000 rupees. And on the Geek Bench, it scored 923 for single core and 3,573 for multi core. Well, we can't completely trust these numbers, so let's start with a gaming test and see how P20 Lite performs. So we played Asphalt Nitro and Hungry Sharp on this phone. I played Asphalt Nitro for like almost one hour, which is one of the most intensive graphics game. I played it at the high resolution. There was no any kind of lag I realized and the device didn't even hit by a bit. I am quite satisfied with the gaming performance of this device. Pausing and resuming was damn smooth. Touch response was really quick and I must say, this device handled this game like a pro. Also, we tested this phone in the room with a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. So, if you are planning to use it in places with room temperature higher than that, you can expect the device to warm up a little bit. Next game I played was Hungry Shark, which is again famous for its graphics. You will feel a little bit of lag initially, but when the game starts, the device handled it really well and there were no any issues I found while running it on maxed out graphics. Which is a great thing because most of the mid-range devices fail to give a smooth experience for this game. The loading time for these games is instant and they don't take much time depending upon the game. Asphalt Nitro took up to 3-4 to four seconds to completely go to the game's main home screen. Whereas Hungry Shark was taking more than 5 seconds to load. Most of the other things in the game like selecting the race mode, the car, etc were quick and instant. Let us now discuss the battery life of this device. The phone comes with 3000mAh battery which is non-removable. I played some games while listening to music for more than 1 hour and battery reduced from 73% to 53%. Then I stopped the music and continued playing games for more than 1 hour which reduced battery from 53% to 37%. Then I watched some videos on YouTube for 1 hour which reduced battery from 37 to 20%. So talking about the daily usage performance, this device will give you around 10 to 12 hours of battery life depending upon your usage. I kept this device on standby for almost 10 hours and there was 20% reduction in the battery from 93 to 73%. So I don't think this device can offer a full day of heavy performance if you like to play a lot of games and watch videos continuously. For an average user like just for calling, internet browsing, whatsapp and facebook, it can surely give you a full day battery life. Lastly, I want to talk about charging. The phone comes with 5V 2Ampere charger, so it does not support quick charging. P20 Lite was charging at the steady state of 1.1A and this device takes 1.5 to 2 hours to charge from 0 to 100%. Though when we tried charging it with a quick charger, it was detecting it and charging rate was increased to 1.4A. So this device does a quite good job at gaming. You can play any game out there on this phone and it won't disappoint you at all. Talking about the battery, the 3000mAh battery suffices for a full day for low to moderate usage but less than a day if you are a heavy user. The phone does support quick charging though you do not get any quick charger with the phone. So you have to use any other quick charger you may have. So that was the testing of Huawei P20 Lite. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below on this phone. Subscribe to Mobizium, hit the bell icon. See you in the next video.